guys, welcome to the 2020 Summer Shred Hi guys, Challenge. welcome back to another video. So if you're new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my latest video like this one. So without further ado, let's get started. Say hi. Hmm, did you baby? For today's video, I'm gonna talk about the 2020 Summer Shred Challenge of Chloe Things. And as you all know, if you're one of my subscribers, I've done the two weeks shred already and the 25 days Arliss Challenge. And you've seen the results that's really, you know, insane because everything that I've been doing is totally worth it. For now, I just wanna show you my vital statistics and let's measure it. So I have here the this tape measure of course and we're gonna measure or I'm gonna measure my bust first. And it's 34. Yes, 34. And of course my waist. Wait, I can see it. 25.5 and then for the hips actually um before starting this program hindi ko i mean wala si isip ko na matatapos ko tong program na to because Ang alam ko, magkakapasok na ako, or yeah, magkakawork na ulit ako, but then, na-extend yung quarantine. So, yun. Luckily, fortunately, natapos, mat or matatapos ko tong program na to, kasi last day ko na by tomorrow. Well, actually, dapat last day ko is sa Monday, but then, hindi ako nag-rest noong day 25, kaya naman, matatapos ko na siya tomorrow. Ingay. I started May 7. Well, Chloe Ting released it on May 6. Yun yung um, 12 minutes hit workout niya. May 6 niya yung release. And then I started May 7. Um, it's actually my day negative 5. And ayon, it's actually a preparation or warm up dun sa 28 days na challenge. Kasi, um, Maraming sets na exercise, uh, mas mahaba yung um, exercise and totally whole body exercise talaga siya as in papayat ka. <laughs> Kasi ewan ko, ang dami nang sasabihin, ang payat ko na or basta ang payat ko na, pero ang payat mo na, ang payat mo na, ganyan. So, it's actually overwhelming kasi at least, di ba, parang yun man talaga yung ina-achieve ko na pumayat ako para kapag nagka-work ulit, pwede na ulit ako tumaba. So, ayun, di ba? Parang ano lang, pabalik-balik lang ganyan. Payat, mataba, ganyan. On this program, I tried the no-rise diet, but then, I failed. Siguro nagawa ko lang siya for like 2 days, pero hindi ko na siya, alam mo yung continuous na nagawa kasi sobrang hirap. And na-realize ko na yung program kasi na to, it's more on cardio. So, kailangan mo talaga ng carbohydrates para ma-replenish yung um, energy na nawawala during your workout. Kasi pag hindi ka kumain, mawawalan ka ng gan. I mean, mawawalan ka ng drive, ng energy para mag-workout. Yung feeling mo lang um, tamad na tamad ka, feeling mo hindi mo kaya, feeling mo mahina ka. So, kailangan mo talaga kumain. So, I don't advise doing the no race diet kapag gagawin itong program na to. What I did is that, bumalik ako sa intermittent fasting. So, yung 16 hours kakakain. 16 hours fasting, then 8 hours nakakain. So, I went back to it. Every day, pag gising ko, yun yung iniinom ko. Apple cider, nilalagyan ko ng honey. One cup, or yung sakit ng apple cider. Tapos, nilalagyan ko ng one tablespoon of honey. And, yun, tubig na mainit. Yun yung iniinom ko. Imbes na mag-coffee ako or Milo, 
yun yung iniinom ko. But then, again, <laughs> nagawa ko lang siya, I think, for two weeks straight. And then after that, parang, parang nagsawa na ako. So, bumalik ako dun sa Milo. Yan, Milo, Milo, Milo. Pero after noon, parang feeling ko, uh, okay, nagsasawa na ako sa Milo. Balik na naman ako sa apple cider. So, yun, ganun lang yun. Kapag ka yung feeling mo nagsasawa ka, natikim ka naman ng iba para... Diba? Tsaka para wag yung katawan hindi siya masanay na yun at yun lang. Parang nag-iiba rin. So, yun yung ginawa ako. So, what else? Um, I also cut down sweets. Hindi na ako kumakain ng Coco Crunch. So, wala na ako Coco Crunch na stocks. And, wala. More on sweets naman kasi talaga ako eh. Pero nagawa ko rin yun for like two weeks straight na wala. Pero after that, yun, may mga dumating sa akin na crinkles, cookies. So, everyday kumakain pa rin ako na sweets. Pero, ayun nga, the more, parang I realize kasi na the more na parang sinasabi ko sa sarili mo na, ah, okay, you don't have to eat this, you don't have to eat that. The more na parang nag-crave ako, kaya mas lalo ko siyang, mas lalo ko napaparaming kainin yung bagay na, or yung food na dapat hindi ko naman kakainin. So, what I did is that, kumakain ako kahit pa unti unti lang, just, you know, para hindi lang ako mag-crave ng sobra dun sa food. Na Aside from that, I drink a lot of water. I mean, as in, a lot of water. <laughs> Kasi sobrang, yung pawis kapag ginagawa ko yung workout, as in, parang feeling ko madi-dehydrate ako. So, I need to replenish it with lots of water. So, ayun. Water, water, water. Everything na, um, I'm gonna pee. Kapag after ko mag-pee, um, in inuminom ulit ako ng one glass of water. So, ayun, parang mapapalitan lang yung katawan. Ay, yung um, water sa katawan. And sobrang init kasi. So, kailangan talaga mag-inom na mag-inom ng water. Um, since I started to things work out, like yung 2 weeks tread, yung 25 days Argos challenge, I already lost um, I think 3 kilograms because I was 54 and then nagtimbang ako 51 kilos na lang ako. So, it's very effective. For this 2020 Summer Shred program, actually, um, siguro kaya siya sobrang hirap for me kasi hindi talaga ako ma-work out ng upper body. Like, yung arms, yung back, hindi talaga. Kaya sobrang na-test yung upper body ko, yung core, kasi more on, um, pinapalit yung braso, diba? As we all know, sobrang hirap magpalit ng braso. At yung part siguro ng katawan ko na kahit anong gawin ko, parang sobrang hirap niyang palitan. Unlike legs, diba? Jogging, ganyan. Parang okay lang, mabilis lang siyang palitan. Pero yung braso talaga, like yung ito. Ang, um, ayan. Sa planting yun. Okay. Pero pa yan. Sa kabila. Ang pangang titignan. But then, again, kailangan talaga para sa ekonomiya. So, ayun. Sobrang hirap ng galing ng fats dito. Kaya, sobrang hirap ng uh, program na to for me kasi more on upper body yung workout and what else? Ayun, core. Sobrang tinitira rin yung core. Sobrang hirap. <laughs> Puro sobrang hirap na lang yung masasabi ko because it is. So, ayun. Umpo na lang ako kasi hindi ko kayo nakatayo habang nag-feel. Well, compared to the previous two programs that I tried, siguro wala na akong, um, siguro wala na masyadong um, changes or, you know, like drastic changes sa katawan ko kasi na sobrang nabawasan na yung fats ko with the two workouts. So, siguro for maintenance na lang itong workout na to, yung summer shred. And yun nga, para matarget yung ibang parts ng katawan ka na hindi ko naman talaga win workout. And also, reminder lang, um, siguro if you're doing workout and feeling mo hindi nag-work sa yung um, program or feeling mo ang tagal din ang ginagawa to, bakit hindi ka nababawasan at tingba? Well, there are different factors kasi kung bakit ka nun, maybe because of your um, genetics or your lifestyle mo or things like that. There are lots of factors na nakaka-apekto kung bakit hindi nag-work sa iyo yung isang bagay. So, try to search for it kasi we have different body types. So, kung ano yung nag-work sa akin, may not work for you or kung ano yung nag-work sa iyo, baka hindi siya mag-work sa akin. So, ayun, try lang ng try. Huwag ka manihiyang magtanong. Chuck. Wala ko masyadong pitch word for um, this program. Like, hindi ako nag-video everyday. 
Kasi nga, um, as I've said, akala ko hindi ko siya matatapos. So, feeling ko um, sayang lang kung mag-video pa ako kasi hindi ko rin naman matatapos. So, ayun, kapag feeling ko na maganda ako, ganyan, yan, picture ako. And feeling ko din baka naikinis na sa akin yung mga friends. So, para i-post ako ng picture, ganyan, tapos sila nagbibenta ng food. So, ako, papapayat ng papayat, sila nagbibenta ng pagkain. I can say now that I am happy, I am confident with my body, and that I am stronger. And yun yung um, pinakamahalaga. So, ayun lang. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and see you on my next vlog. Bye!